Hello and welcome to the Cranky Old Gamer. Today we are taking a look at Huntsman the Orphanage. This is an interesting uh, splash screen here. I say that because I played the game three times before realizing I could click on anything other than this. Uh, you can choose to be a male or female protagonist. You can be either Vincent Lucas or Scarlet. Alright. I totally didn't even notice this up here. Crouch, prone, pause, mouse, and bird. Those would have been handy. Um, this is how to play the game. Enter the maze and find the thing that runs off the corner. Place the items on each orphan's... And you will set them free. <laughs> Alright. I'm being a little mean. Um, the idea of the story is that there is an orphanage and 12 children were stolen by somebody known as the Huntsman. And these are the people that worked at the orphanage. Everybody has a story. You can click on the play button to hear their stories. Each child has their story. And what you have to do is go around the world and there is a huge hedge maze outside the uh, orphanage, or as Futurama fans will call it, Orphanarium. And somewhere in the hedge maze are each child's grave marker. But they're not actually dead. They're in this limbo dimension where the huntsman has taken them. Hidden throughout the grounds of the orphanage and the maze are an item that will set each of them free. You have to listen to their stories and f solve the puzzle of what item goes where. I like the idea. The game can be very, very creepy. However, this game sets a new bar in terms of voice acting. This makes the original Resident Evil sound like Oscar bait. You are a seeker of the truth, I see. Here to help me. You this is like really before. bad goth poetry night. chance I sought help. It would be as impotent as the quivering of a single butterfly wing in your pathetic hands. Oh, by all means, pursue your noble quest and seek to save us all. If it's or in rural... Why you are here? I want to say Iowa. To I don't remember. Why is everybody British? Resident goth chick. Damn the lot of you. Straight to hell. Oh, see, she's southern. But I don't believe in God. And I ain't scared of the devil neither. Don't you try and cross me. None of you. For your bullying. This is Hattie. She's missing her ribbons. Seems I've been here forever. Sinking in this swampy blackness. I felt like that at the orphanage too. Okay. These can all be accessed in the actual game. So, find our precious items, place each one on our headstones, one by one, set us free. Very simple concept. Call me cynical, if you must, but I never blindly believe the fables and fairy stories the other kids seem to lap up. Oh, the audio's gonna keep going. Instead, I was the one who pulled Santa Claus's beard off in the shopping mall and whispered to the next Yeah, the, the, the game has some issues with think. audio cues. But I must... Oh, it finally stopped. And now you're going to hear me get out of the car before the loading screen goes away. Come on, there we go. Okay, so here's the game. Uh, there is an odd little mechanic with the phone at the bottom of the screen. I say odd little mechanic because it makes you think that there's a reason that you have it, but the only reason that you have it is for the children to speak to you from beyond. Oh my god, somebody's calling me on this ghostly payphone! Please help me. He's right there. Tick tock, still. Must he take you to? Tick tock, tick tock. Please help me. 
mildly creepy. The game does have its creep factor. It is... Don't enter into this expecting it to be amnesia or any kind of action game. This is more of an adventure game with a first-person perspective. If you put them on their highest setting, the graphics are not bad. Pretty typical Unity engine stuff, but not bad. When you find an item that belongs to a child... Oh, let's get the flashlight on here. Like this. Your reticle will change. You have a finger now instead of a cross. And watch the phone. Okay, keep it away from him. That little boy is terrified of this little block. Please help me. Help me find my ribbons. Get mad, Hattie. Get mad! Why isn't she getting mad? She should be screaming at me. This is, of course, the orphanage. I was really hoping that, like, throughout the game, like, you would see hidden stuff revealed by your phone. Like, you'd be looking and there'd be nothing out there. But on your phone, you'd see a ghost run across the screen. But, no, so far... I've played this for a little while, and no such luck. Not saying it won't happen ever, but as far as I've seen, no. You also move, like, laboriously slow. Once you get into the actual orphanage, things do get kind of creepy. Oh, that's weird. Last time I came in here, that was all closed. Probably the biggest challenge of the game is the maze itself. It is incredibly easy to get lost. I will show you that in just a moment. You're kinda constantly on the lookout for interactable items. Like this picture of Billy Ray Cyrus. Madness. Tis all of it a raving madness. That man places his trust in an almighty god, religion, faith, and the sullied hands of priests. <laughs> For I, Cuthbert Povey, who had no belief in God, had surely just witnessed the devil. With its back to the window stood a heinous figure, rising seven feet in height, perhaps more, looming over a cowering Mr. Crode. My hands, damp with terror, tightened around the rough wooden crucifix as it became clear what action I must take, for I knew now, this moment, was a test. I would stand and confront the beast, claiming victory in the Lord's name, seeking protection in the power of the Lord God Almighty and the symbol of life everlasting. The crucifix. I would drive this demon back to hell and victory and forgiveness. Oh, I'm sorry, were you still talking? I heard a thump, so... Uh, the tick-tock, tick-tock is apparently something to do with the Huntsman. I have not solved his mystery yet, but from what I understand... What's odd is I have encountered him, but you're supposed to be... From what I've read, you're supposed to be able to see him, and he's quite scary-looking. But... When I encountered him, I didn't see shit. My vision just went all wonky and I died. 
Oh, the ghost is writing on the board. Listen to our portraits well, for clues to aid your quest we tell. A little faster there, buddy. But patience, friend, you must employ to hear each tale of girl and boy. Is that it? That's all you got? Alright. Now, according to the devs, the Huntsman won't start chasing you. Well, there's one kid. Until... Oh, hey! Alright, so it does happen. My beloved mother passed when I was but a babe in arms. I have but one keepsake that belonged to her, a memory of New Zealand, Aotearoa, the land of the long white cloud, as my Maori friends name it. Tis a greenstone pendant, a treasure. Hey, Dicky, wearing it soothed my worries. I know where that is. With the clarity of thought I have not possessed since it slipped from my neck in the darkness. I don't know where this place. Okay. Oh, beware! Oh, there's more. Beware the ticking huntsman's claw. A touch so light, yet power raw. His grasp has not to seize you, nay. Your only folly is delay. Oh, there's more. For should you tarry in his field, tis power to turn and run, you will yield. Oh my god. Still more. And spinning rise to limb... web. To limb... limbo web? Oh, okay. Limbo web, yeah, because... I'll set that there for no reason. So yeah, you can hear the Huntsman coming. Apparently you won't hear him coming. He won't start chasing you until... Oh, I gotta get the key. That's where the maze is. He won't start chasing you until you reach a certain point. You have to go upstairs... At least that's what the dev said. That was tough to find. Now I'm going to stick it between my fingers. It's dark in here. Weird kid's little green thing is right here. You can trust me. <laughs> Your life depends upon it. And now here's the hedge maze, which is the primary focus of the game. to find Charlie's grave. Oh god, I am so going to get lost in this shit. Old trick I learned when I was little. If you can't find your way out of a maze, hug one wall. And don't ever leave that wall. Ooh.
Found a tree. Trees are good. And you know what the really fun part is? I hope you like this hedge maze, because you have to go through it for every single one of the children. Every one of them. Who's this? Rupert. Misled yet mourned. Okay, that is not the one I want. I have seen maps online. I don't know how good they are, but I have seen them. Charlie, you better be in here, you little bastard. You rascally little scamp. The puzzle is finding out whose artif what artifacts go to who. Is this not the most exciting video you've ever seen? Are you not entertained? Now imagine going through this maze with the huntsman hunting you. A little bit, little bit scarier, a little bit. You know what? I'm gonna cut to where... Uh, I'm not gonna make you guys watch this. I'm gonna cut to where I find Charlie's fucking grave. Um, so I found the huntsman. Um... And we're dead. Alright, so we are back. We have Charlie's item. I had to start all over again because the Huntsman ate me, or killed me, or sent me into limbo, whatever he does. But... I have found a map. So, there's that. Yeah, you're supposed to be able to hear the constant tick-tock, tick-tock, tick-tock. My ticky cobra, you have saved us both. Okay. That's it. That That's that's the whole thing, huh? All right. And let's go down to the basement, which totally isn't creepy at all. Nope. Creepy doll. These were all orphan rooms, by the way. These were bedrooms for the orphans. What? See, this happened last time, too. What? Why did I die? And this, I believe, belongs to Hattie. Hattie is not the one looking for her ribbons. Rose is. Kind of giving away spoilers here, but I... don't really care. Shut up, chalkboard! What the hell?! Did that do that before? Did did that wiggle before? I, I don't remember that wiggling. That's creepy. This is the way to Hattie. Hattie, take your shit. Okay, I think that means Hattie's happy. Hey, I found Min Min's severed arm. Strategy, my dear friend. Have you not? God damn it, Min Min!
All right, men, men, have your severed prosthetic arm. Now I get to find my way out of this hellhole. God damn it! Fuck! Even with a map, I am goddamn lost. Rupert! Stewie's teddy bear is dead? I'm really surprised I haven't run into him yet. Hint, hint, jinx, jinx. No? Nothing? I could be wrong. What are you hinting? What are you pointing at, you silly kid? Here you go, John John. You're a weird fucking kid. Starting to believe the Huntsman is just a myth these kids made up. I even saw him once and I still think he's made up. Don't get me wrong, this maze is creepy as shit, but... If I don't see some Huntsman action, I'm gonna be pretty bummed. Okay. All right, let's grab the creepy dolly. He's watching you. Oh, that's. I'm watching you too. Thanks. Thanks for that. I have no idea where I'm going. I am so goddamn lost. Nobody in there, but that ball just rolled at me. All right, here you are, little girl. Oh, great mannequins! What is this, Silent Hill? Jesus! Oh, the monkey! You're the girl that wants the monkey. Uh. Oh, and they move. Isn't that fantastic? That's... Uh, hey, it's Bella. can have your creepy monkey. Mimi, move your hand, miss, lest I chop it off. No, you won't. Oh, yes, I will. Trust me, man, no, man, he will. No, you won't. Oh, yes, I will. <gasps> no! Oh, that wonderful voice acting. Mr. Huntsman, I have flowers for you. Oh. Hey. What's up there, buddy? Oh. 
Oh man. And we're dead. After all that. This video may not be very long, but seriously, I played for like three and a half hours. Just to get you a shot of the damn Huntsman. Ultimately, it's not a bad game. Uh, it is currently costs $10 on Steam. It's slow, but it's very creepy. Uh, it's not an action game. Do not go into it expecting action. Um, expect puzzles, expect to have to sort out riddles, and run and hide. It's about the best you can do. Alright guys, don't forget to check out my Facebook, facebook.com slash thecrankyoldgamer. Don't forget to check out my Twitter, crankyoldgamerx. And I do occasionally stream live on hitbox.tv. Uh, my name there is, of course, the Cranky Old Gamer. And if you have not already, uh, see if you look right up here, this is my face. Click on that, that is my subscribe button. And that'll get you subscribed to all my videos, including my Cranky Horror Picture Show, and my Indie Spotlight, and my Retro Awesome series. Alright guys, we will see you again with another Cranky Horror Picture Show. Bye bye